Ho ho boys, welcome to Borderline Games. I am Gareth and this is Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony, episode 22. And uh, just making sure my microphone is on, and it is. Uh, last time, Shuichi, feeling the pressure, starts to lose his will to carry on. Um, and his will to live, I guess. Uh, never fear, Kyoto is here, and he uh, takes him outside and makes him do press-ups. So he's alright now. Uh, also, we've been uh, given a tablet each, uh, containing footage that's pertinent to another student. So is this going to be another motivate? Is this going to be enough um, to motivate people uh, to murder? I mean, probably it is Duncan Romper. Okay, so let us. I guess we're here. We're talking to Kyoto. Hello, Kyoto. How did the conversation end up here? Jeez, girls' conversations are always like this. They jump around so much, I can't keep up. That's not really important right now, Kaito. Uh, who do I speak to? Angie? I feel like I spoke to her last time. Oh, here we go. Angie, what are these divine messages? Uh... Atua says this academy suffers from the same sins as the outside world. You're all unhappy because your greed is making you treat each other like adversaries. Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. Your desire to leave this place is only worsening your greed, hmm? Uh, um... Greed? Cause Atua says so. So we must cast aside that sinful greed and rejoice in our new lives here. You... So you're saying we should live here for the rest of our lives? No, no. No, no, that's wrong. How divine! It's not enough to simply live here forever. Our lives must also be full of divine purpose. In other words, you see? we must make this academy heaven on earth. What? And then? In doing so, our desire to leave will vanish and the killings will cease. That's... Are you being serious right now? Because this place provides us all with shelter, food, clothing and wonderful friends. We'll get punished. Oh, what more could you possibly desire? Do not give in to your greed. What? Himiko! Himiko, do you hear this nonsense? Snap out of it! Cut it out! Atua's divine messages are never wrong. Huh? What? Uh, yep. Himiko is a good girl and a fast learner. And then? Together we devised a truly divine path. Plan. Not path. <laughs> the best plan ever to help us live lives of fulfillment. The best plan. Yeah. Tell them, Himiko. Everyone. Make them burst with happiness. Uh. Yeah. Explode with excitement. It's finally happened. Great, huh? The amazing Himiko's magic show is finally opening. Huh? A magic show. <laughs> Don't worry. Admission is free. Uh, actually, I guess admission will just be your smiles. Over the years, my show has given many smiles to people with broken hearts. Now is the time to demonstrate my powers. With my magic. My magic is the only thing that can heal your twisted hearts. Hmm. But in our current predicament, performing magic tricks is quite illogical. Stop it. Yeah. Don't disturb my concentration. You gotta learn to read the mood already. And it's called Magic Show because I do magic, not tricks. Huh. Huh. Screw your magic show! I don't get excited about that crap! Wait, why? You're way too excited! How about that? Yeah. The show opens tomorrow morning. Come to the gym after the morning announcement. You guys better get excited and look forward to it with antestimation. Say. Oh, okay, that was the wrong word. I thought. I haven't heard of that word. Surely you mean anticipation. Or have I understood the nature of this show? Well then. Hamiko and I will begin the prep work. And I'm supposed to ask others to help too. Hmm? Bayonara. I'm counting on you guys to help. <laughs> Bayonara. Yeah. Farewell. Off they go. Bing bing. After announcing their show before anyone could react, Hamiko and Angie left the dining hall. Himiko? Himiko, 
What happened to her? Oh dear. <laughs> Faith as intense as this can be quite terrifying. But there may be no cause for concern. This does not appear to be related to our emotive videos. Come on, man. You're only worried about that. I'm worried. Of course, we cannot afford to take Monokuma's motives lightly. But but everyone who isn't here could be showing each other their videos, right? The fuck you just say? You mean Kokichi, Gonta, and Ryoma? No. No, I don't think that's it. Even with three people, there's a low probability of them having each other's motive videos. It seems unlikely that one of them would show a motive video without seeing their own in return. So I don't think a video exchange in a small group like that is likely. True. I see. That is true. Well done. Heh, <laughs> not bad. That's the ultimate detective for you. Uh, okay. Uh... Yeah. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. The same goes for Angie and Himoko. Himiko. <laughs> ah! Give Himiko back! What do you think? For now, let us have some breakfast, shall we? I prepared meals for everyone. Of course, I'll deliver meals to those who are not currently present. Nah. You don't gotta do that. I'll eat their portions. <laughs> <laughs> Don't push yourself too hard. After I helped the stuffed Kyoto to his room, I returned to my own. Oh, okay, I see. Like, what is the stuffed Kyoto? Kikichi and Gonto. Angie and Hamiko. And Ryoma and Maki, too. Everyone's all over the place. But I shouldn't just leave them be. There has to be something I can do. Yes. I'm going to do something about this. Three times. Start. Okay. Have I got anything that I can give to either Gonta? I want to see where they are. Uh, let's see if they're on the map first. Ba-ba-ba-ba. So I see Kaito and I see Ryoma. Okay. So Ryoma, what would Ryoma like? -do 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 -do. Uh British candy. A stylish tie. The one of our special occasions. Uh, Sukuyaki flavored caramels that combine the flavor of meat, soy sauce, eggs, and caramel. The flavors are real, really strong and don't mix well. Uh, a chic autumn colored scarf that can be used by men, women, and robots. Okay. Uh, Kibo. Use that. A long coat with a passionate red lining. It protects you from the cold and makes you burn with passion. Uh, uh, how to Raise Hamsters is not what this book is about. It's a book about raising domestic animals for meat for those who are interested in the farming industry. Uh, basic sewing kit. Guess a button comes off. Uh, a model doll that has the same joints as humans. It's pretty versatile. It can stay balanced in positions humans can't maintain. Sturdy glasses, in case it won't break, even if it's stomped on by an exosol. Uh, and there's a ceramic doll that spins like a whirling dervish. It's a very popular Turkish souvenir. Maybe I should give these glasses to Samugi or... Have a look. Uh, I'm sure I saw something else that I could give to Samugi. Okay, let's go see where Samugi is. Samugi. Uh, here then? Is that Samugi? Samugi. Yes. Hello. Atua. Huh? Well, I guess I could use a god. I don't want to live here forever. There's no way this place could be paradise. Should I hang out with Smoogie for a while? Uh-huh. I am looking forward to the magic show. A little bit, though. 
maybe for a brief moment I might be able to have some fun uh, here. Smoogie and I spent some time imagining what magic Drake and Mookie was going to perform. Smoogie and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Smoogie a present? Yeah. Uh, where's that glasses case? Uh, there it is. Yeah. What? what? I can have this? Really? I mean, no one else here can even appreciate this like I can. Hey! Shuichi, what do you do when it's night time? Do you sleep right away? Well. well, I don't really have anything to do, so I tend to go to bed right away. I see. I did that at first too. But now I usually stay up late. 10 o'clock seems too early to go to sleep. So I've been making paper patterns for my next cosplay until I get sleepy. If I remember correctly. That reminds me. You said you like making the outfits more than wearing them, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's fine if other people wear them. I said it before, but some people have started to promote themselves more than their characters. Hmm. That's why you cosplay with love. Uh... Of course. There are still cosplayers who think their characters are more important. The, the, the characters are important. But the worst ones just use the characters as uh, characters as stepping stones. Huh? Stepping stones? I can't believe people it. People can get famous doing cosplay, so from there, some people try to use that fame to become celebrities or idols. That's... I suppose that's true. It is a stepping stone for them. Right? Right? It's fine if they disrespect me, but I won't let them disre disrespect their characters. Aww. When I get mad like that, they just call me an elitist and stop listening. Smoogie sighed, rubbing her temples. This must, must be serious. Um. When people first start cosplaying, they just want to dress up as the characters because they like them. But before too long, it warps. It gets more warped the longer you do it. Hmm. Warp? But the feeling doesn't change, does it? Uh... Um, well, for cosplay, you have more contact uh, with others than most hobbies. In the beginning, it's just fun to wear the outfits, but... Then you start comparing, pushing your opinions, and starting drama. Uh, and before you know it, the feeling of wanting to dress up as the character is replaced by a need to put in the effort to meet other people's standards. Makeup, wig, colour, contacts, whatever you need to make it perfect. But... Perfection isn't just, uh, such a bad goal though, is it? But... The problem is, they start to make fun of anyone who doesn't get it perfect. Of course, I believe you should work hard to make quality cosplay, but... It's even more important to feel like you can become your favourite character. That's why I don't want to call anyone just starting out bad or a newbie. You can't! Ah, jeez. I don't want to have the right words for it. I can't say it well. No. No, I think I understand. Smoogie never wants to forget the fun of cosplaying. Those feelings must be what makes her the ultimate cosplayer. Sorry. Oh, sorry. That wasn't just boring. I, it got pretty heavy too, huh? I don't think that's all cosplay is, okay? Lots of things about it are just plain fun. Hey. Next time I'll talk about those things. If you want to, of course. Obtain friendship fragment. Sumugi's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Cool. Sumugi and I parted ways and I returned to my room. Well, I guess I'm going to the little robot. There's still some time left. Uh-oh. Huh. I guess that's Kyoto, but is he here to train already? When are we supposed to train at night? It's a little early. Who is it? Then the moment I open the door... Oh, hello, Kyoto. Shuichi, run! Huh? Huh? What happened? Don't just stand there. Run. Hurry. He's coming. What happened? Who's coming? What? Gah. Kyoto raised a glance down the hallway and immediately stiffened up in fear. <laughs> Damn it. He's already here. Hurry, Shuichi. Run. Shuichi. If we both make it out of this alive, let's train again. Oh. Ah, Kyoto. Kyoto gave his ominous warning and then ran away at lightning speed. Huh? What? Who are you talking about? I peeked through the gap in the hallway, in the doorway, to discover what Kyoto was so terrified by. Huh? Huh? That's... 
Gonzo, isn't it? He looks different. What's going on? It looks like he's checking each room. He'll be at my door soon. I don't know what he's up to, but it's probably better not to be here. Weird. Careful to avoid alerting Gonzo, I quietly tiptoed down the hall. I stealthily made my way to the courtyard. What was all that about? What was Gonzo up to? Yeah. From the looks of it, you ran away from Gonzo too. Ah. Ryama. What now? I don't know why, but it seems like he's gone into a rage and is trying to catch everyone. Hmm. He was charging right at me at top speed. Huh? He threw himself right at you, but you managed to get away. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I use the Chikuchi method, a technique from my tennis days. Like a flash step, you know? Of course, I've gotten rusty since back in the day, but... You've still got a ways to go. Gonzo's still got a ways to go. You won't be able to catch me like that. Chikuchi. Yum must have been in the... An, uh, Ryoma must have been an incredible player back in the day. By the way... By the way... I'm sorry. Saying something so uncool like I've got no reason to live. Huh? Uh, no, you don't have to apologize. However... I'm gonna say this so we're clear. I'm not so stupid that I'd waste my life. I only said something like that because I was jealous of you. Why? Jealous. Why? <laughs> yeah. uh, if I had a stronger attachment to life, I could try my best alongside you all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, Ryoma ducked down, taking cover. When I looked to find what had uh, scared Ryoma, I saw... Oh, there he is. There you are. He's Broly. Hey, where are you going? Huh? Gonta? Sorry, Shuichi, but I'm gonna run. I've still got things I need to do. <laughs> I've got some errands I need to take care of. No. Gonta no can let you leave. Sorry, but it's for your own good. Gonta charged at us like a runaway train and then... I lost consciousness. I didn't even feel the impact. Didn't have time to scream. My world turned dark. And in this pitch black world, I thought to myself, this is what it's like to die. I can't die yet. Uh. Ah. Morning, sleepyhead. <laughs> You're finally up, Shuichi. It's Kokichi's business. Huh? What? Me? <laughs> Are you gonna ask, who am I? And where am I? Well, you're definitely Shuichi Saihara. And this place is... Hmm, I guess hell. Hell? I shook my head. Confused, I looked around. Hmm. Is this... Oh, you're awake. This is the ultimate entomologist's research lab. Huh? The ultimate entomologist's lab? Why? Oh. Ah, I remember. I was attacked by Gonta and then... That's correct. The same is true of the rest of us. We were all seized by Gonta and brought here. Um... But Shuichi's the only one who got knocked out. By the way... Gonta apologized for that. Apparently, he couldn't slow down in time when he tried to grab you. Why? What is this, anyway? Why did Gonta do this? Oh, my. It's because of that guy. He was provoked by that guy. My, my, my eyes followed where Samugi was pointing. <laughs> There's no use trying to escape. Gonta will just catch you again. Okay. Weird. Hello, Kikichi. No. Is this your doing, Kikichi? Did you have Gonta ki kidnap us all? <laughs> <laughs> He's so simple-minded. Um, as soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs or something like that. So that means... And that's why we're all here. Welcome to the mandatory insect meet and greet. Oh, Gonta thought up the name. So if you don't like it, voice your complaints to him. That's terrible. You're terrible. You tricked Gonta. Right? 
Isn't it great? Only an evil supreme leader like me could do something so evil. Kokichi. Kokichi, why are you doing this? Ah. Oh, I thought we could throw ourselves a little screening party with all our videos. See? With all you here, exchanging our motive videos wouldn't be that difficult at all. <laughs> and I want to see your videos too, so I figured we could all binge watch them together. Please, wait. D do you know what will happen if you do that? Um, everyone will know their motive, and a killing will be more likely to happen. But... But, I like playing on mean difficulty. Also, I don't run from battles in RPGs either. I want to win this killing game, so I'm not going to run from it. I'm going to crush it. How exciting! That'll be way less boring, don't you think? Huh? What the hell does that mean? See? I tried to warn you guys. I told you that we shouldn't cooperate with each other. <laughs> Plus, if I'm going to do this, then i got to enjoy myself and just go all the way. If the thought of playing a death game doesn't excite you, you'll never win. Understand? Strangely, I could detect no evil in his smile as he said that. It was an innocent smile, like a frolicking child. Although perhaps it's just another lie. Hey. Thank you for waiting. Gonto bring Himiko and Angie. What? Huh? Himiko and Angie too? Aww. Oh man, and I was about to take a break too. I just finished all the paperwork. Uh, no, not paperwork, prep work. Uh... Yeah. What's the meaning of this? Himiko! Himiko, are you okay? My saliva makes injuries heal faster. Piece of cake! Does your face hurt? You want me to spit on your face and make you feel better? Stop it. <laughs> uh, no. Hey, Gonta, are these the only ones you brought back from the gym? Mm. Oh, Kirumi at gym, will she tell Gonta she's too busy? Mm -hmm. Hmm, and you just let her go. Atua has spoken. Atua says Kirumi fulfills any request someone makes of her, like a mummy. Hey. Uh, she's not a mum, though. Wait, what request? Uh... I request that she sew the curtains. I don't think even Gonta can disturb her. Sorry. Sorry, not even Gonta strong enough to overcome Kirumi. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess at least one of you is worthy of being called an ultimate. By the way. Oh. Nothing we can do about her. Are the others still hiding somewhere? Um. Oh, Gonta see Mio. Well, Gonta's face get red hot, so Gonta no lo uh, could bring her. Hmm? Your face got hot. You mean you were hot on her trail, right? <laughs> No, um, she used her, what she call it, secret woman weapon. And then... What? Anyway, there's enough people, right? Insect meet and greet is off to smashing start. Maybe. Yeah, sure. This is good enough. We should move on to the main event anyway. You can't! Gonta, don't be deceived. He just used you to abduct us all. Huh? Huh? Really? Nuh-uh. No. This is the insect meet and greet. I like bugs even more than you do, Gonta. Huh? Oh, more than Gonta. Amazing, you like bugs that much. Oh, dear. It would appear further argument is a useless endeavor. Hey, hey. Now, Gonta, go ahead and teach them just how wonderful bugs are. I gotta run an errand, but I'll be back. Don't let them leave, okay? All right. If they try to leave, it means you gotta really show them why bugs are so great. Hmm. Mm hmm. Got it. Could it be. Wait, you're leaving? Yeah. Of course. Someone's got to break into your rooms to get the goods. <laughs> <laughs> Lockpicking is a cinch for an evil supreme leader like me. What? What? You're going to enter a girl's room without permission? If I must. It seems I must be the one to take care of this with my talent. Kokichi, I will stop. You're so dumb. Yeah, yeah. I don't have time to listen to some robot. Let's see. It's exactly 9pm right now. I should be back by night time. Well, have fun with the bugs till then. Takichi then left the classroom. It appears we're caught in Kokichi's trap. What should we do? What should we do? At this rate, it'll end up as a motive video screening party. My Neo Akadi Akado is no match for Gonta's superhuman strength either. Everyone! We still have a chance when Kokichi comes back. 
That's when I will take care of this. Everyone, please just enjoy it until then. Huh? Enjoy it. Everyone, play nice. Okay, now we start the fun, fun insect meet and greet. When I had first woken up, Kahiji told me this was hell. It appears that wasn't a lie. The incredible specimens each gave off the appearance of vigor and vitality. And they were exactly as vigorous as they looked. With our escape route blocked off, all we could do was run around the room in a panic. Bing bong. <laughs> the nighttime announcement played, but it didn't save us. The insect meets and greet continued without mercy. What happened, Kokichi? You said you'd be back by night time. Ah, oh no! Himiko is being buried alive by insects! Oh. Himiko, What's happened to Kikichi? The more you yell, the more bugs can get into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, when our bodies were completely exhausted and sleep was nearly upon us. He finally came back. Whoa. Ugh, there are bugs everywhere. How nice. I mean, how nice. Oh, oh, you come back, Kukichi. Come, we have fun. Everyone We're going to have so much fun. Hmm. You know, as much as I'd love to do that, maybe we should call it a day. Hmm? See? The bugs look really tired, and a gentleman knows to do things in moderation, you know? You're right. Oh, gone to understand. Hey, hey. So you clean up while I take care of business with the others. Kichi's hands were full of several cubs' pads. Alright. Oh, why am I doing that? <laughs> it's a monitor. I just assumed that it was coming up on there. Okay. Yoo-hoo! You guys okay? You all look like drowned sewer rats. Because you're late! Wait. You said you'd be back by night time, but it's already 11pm now. Hi, Dad. Sorry. I ran into an unexpected snafu. But... But look! <laughs> Cubs pads! Gotta catch them all! I even got the uh, pads belonging to the people who aren't here! <laughs> <laughs> now everyone can watch their motive video! Oh my. We said we don't want to. How exciting! Well, it's late and I'm getting sleepy, so let's get started already! Hey. Start what? Oh, don't worry about it, Gonta. Just keep watch so these guys don't. That's enough. That's it. I won't let you do as you please. Mm -hmm. Huh? I also. I didn't want to use this unless I absolutely had to. It eats up a lot of my electricity. We must do so that's it. neither here nor there. I will stop you right here, right now. Huh? Ebo, what are you going to do? Oh, what is he doing? Still glaring at Kikichi. Kibo st uh, slowly reached a hand behind his ear and spun the mechanical parts there. He's lighting up? Is he gonna self destruct or. Where? Huh? What's that sound? One moment, please. I'm rewinding the tape right now. Oh. The tape? Right there. Kibo shouted out and pushed his palm against his ear. That's when. Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gonta kidnap us? Who is that? Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gonta kidnap us? Was that my voice? <laughs> He's so simple-minded. Uh. As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs. Or something like that. Could this be... Or Gonta. How about this? So, what do you think? You just saw me audio recording function. My recording audio recording function for the first time. What? Did it really just whip out an audio recorder like it's some kind of secret weapon? Actually. Really? It's a cassette tape in this day and age. Huh? But it's metal tape, you know. Wait, why? The sound quality isn't the issue. Mm -hmm. I should put that aside for now. More importantly, it seems to have worked. <laughs> Kokichi, what do you mean? You not like bugs? Oh, man. 
Man, now it's boring. Was it lie? You say we get them to understand how amazing bugs are. Was that lie? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you. I love bugs from the bottom of my heart. All right. Oh, so it not lie. Then gone to happy. Let's have fun with bugs all night. Hey, bugs! Who wants to pet more bugs? Huh? Huh? Everyone! We must run while we still can. <gasps> Wait! We need to get back to our cubs pads! We need to get take back our cubs pads first! Tenko snatched the cubs pads from Kikichi. Oh. Are we gonna get them mixed up again? Is that what's gonna happen? Oh. Then we all run out of the lab. Shoot. After leaving the room, I could still hear the baffling, uh, the mu the muffled buzzing and Kikichi screaming. Hmm. Could I get baffling from there? We might be corpses by tomorrow morning. It's plain to see. Don't joke about that. What if it happens? It's just plain possible. Um... So, how do we return these cubs pads back to their rightful owners? Jeez. Hmm. If only the monocubs were here, I'm sure they'd help us. There they are. Oh, it's just you. It's fine. The others are asleep. If you need something, I can help. Uh, um... Uh, um, it's just the cubs pads. Peachy brought them to us and... Okie dokie. I simply need to return them. I will return each one to your respective rooms, you bastards. <laughs> oh. Ah, he left. Well, that was abrupt. But... but... Out of all of them, we can probably trust that one, right? Well then... Shall we go back to our rooms? Our dorms? It is well past night time. Yeah! <laughs> That's true. We have the magic show tomorrow. You're right. Because of all this, we couldn't do a rehearsal, but I'm sure it'll be a divine show. Yeah! We'll be waiting for you to come watch, okay? Hmm. Hmm. We'll be waiting, she says. It's Amiko's show, not yours. Uh, um... I suppose it's alright. I just remembered I wasn't able to train with Kyoto today. Ah, too bad. We can do it tomorrow night, though. Hang on. Where is Kyoto now? It's not like I'll ever never see him again or anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Worn out from all the commotion, we dragged ourselves back to our rooms. Hmm. It's close to midnight now. Tomorrow's a busy day. I should get some sleep. I collapsed onto the bed and quickly fell asleep. Rumor theater. I need a miracle. You pray, right? While you're working, living, and gambling. Well, miracles happen every day. For example, do you know what the odds of the Earth existing are? The same as a tornado blowing through a junkyard and assembling a working car. That's a miracle. That's why us being alive on Earth is a miracle. All kinds of miracles happen every day. Life is made up of li little miracles. But whenever a miracle does happen, it just gets chalked up as fate or destiny or whatever. Be grateful for the miracles that have already happened instead of hoping for new ones. If you do that, you should be able to enjoy the miracles, right? <laughs> Bing bong. Rise and shine or shine. There's one less. It is now oh, there we go. <laughs> this is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's 8 a.m., so wake up. Ah. ah, he left. Onosuke is so impatient. Hmm. He's been cranky lately, so it's making him impatient. Hmm. I don't like impatient men. Let's get along now. I want to get along with Monosuke. All right. It's a little early, but I'll go ahead and do the nighttime announcement too. And that's that. It'll be 10 p.m. later. It's too early. Your impatience is uh, trying to warp time and space. So long. Farewell. <laughs> Today is the day of Miku's magic show. The insect fiasco yesterday and now this. Do we really have time to be doing this stuff? Well. Well, I suppose I shouldn't think about it so much. I'll just go to the gym for now. Go into the gym. Uh, should we just warp there? Oh, 
apparently I can't go to those places. Uh, building basement, first floor, always the gym. All right, this way. Hello, Kurumi. Kirumi. Ah, Kurumi. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone has already gathered for the show. Hmm. Uh, is that right? I suppose everyone's looking forward to it. That is correct. Miyu seems particularly excited. Her eyes were lit up like a child's. She's that excited, huh? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited too. By the way, it would seem that some outrageous events transpired last night. Hey. Yeah, Kokichi tricked Gonta into going along with this motive video screening plan. But thanks to Kibo, we put a stop to it. It's okay. I see. I see. So Kokichi truly does intend to oppose us. Please, go no matter. Let's go inside. Everyone's waiting. Uh, let's go. Boom. Whoa. This is even nicer than I thought it'd be. Yaha! Welcome to our magic show. What do you think? Isn't it divine? Okay. Yeah, it is. I didn't think you would have a real st uh, stage set up. Did you and Hamiko do all this? No, no, this would have been impossible with just two people. I got others to help us. Kayato and Kibo helped carry equipment from he uh, from Himiko's research lab. I designed the stage, but Kurumi sewed the curtains. Thanks, Bito. Everyone is so nice. Atua deserves all the credit. No. Uh, shouldn't everyone who worked on it get the credit? Oh. Oh, well, I didn't ask you to help because I didn't know what you'd be useful for. That's... Did you really have to say that? I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, just sit tight. Once we're done preparing, we'll start right away. Huh? Done preparing? You're not ready yet. Uh, yep. The star of the show needs to settle her nerves. The star of the show requires mental preparation. <laughs> She's shaking like a leaf. What the hell is that? Suspended water tank. A water tank? It looks like there's fish inside. Is this part of the trick too? Now let's talk to Emiko. Could it be Emiko? Are you a bit nervous? <laughs> just, just a little bit. It certainly doesn't look like just a little bit. Because the magic I will be performing today is the extreme water magic, underwater escape act, escape. Oh, I've never successfully cast it before. It's pretty difficult, so I'm a little nervous. You've never cast it before. Mm. And today, in order to raise the stakes, there's a time limit. If I don't escape from the water within the time limit, piranhas will be dropped in. I'll be pureed. Pureed? This is looking a little dangerous. The water is cloudy, so I can't see very clearly, but I do see fish swimming around. Those are all piranhas, huh? They don't look like normal piranhas. Those piranhas are in my research lab. Angie said we should use them for the show. Uh, no. But wait, piranhas are way too dangerous. Oh. Ah, thank you. Himiko. Himiko, please reconsider. The piranhas are nothing like lasagna. With my magic. Uh, no need to worry. I'll instantly kill all the piranhas with my magic. Huh? You're going to kill them? I thought this was an escape trick. Um... Himiko, are you serious? There's no way I can stop him now. No way I can stop now, since Atua's watching the show and all. No! There's no such thing as Atua. Angie's brainwashed you. What was that? You don't believe in my magic. Uh, well, I... I can do it. I'm a skilled young girl, because I'm a mage. She psyched herself up and headed straight to the water tank. <laughs> of course I believe in your magic. You're... My precious friend! Enko. Yoo-hoo! Ready, Himiko? Did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? Uh... Yeah. I said my prayers and went pee. Yeah! <laughs> 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 then let's get the show started! 
starting already. But not everyone is here yet. Wow, what's going to happen? I think that draws the to the conclusion of another episode of Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, next time we're going to see uh, Kamiko jump into this uh, water try and escape. And then probably be eaten by a load of piranhas. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll see you next time. Have a good evening. Boy boy.